Good afternoon, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, representatives of diplomatic corps accredited to Azerbaijan, friends, dear friends. Uh, as I have promised, I will speak several times a week about the arrest of Tofik Yagublu. Uh, firstly, at the beginning of my address, I would like to thank international organizations, Council of Europe, US congressmen for their great support of Tofik Yagublu. And of course, call for further actions in order to achieve his immediate release from the prison and demand Azerbaijani government and President Aliyev to do it immediately and swiftly. Um, my particular thanks goes to the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe rapporteurs uh, on human rights uh, and on political prisoners in Azerbaijan to Ms. Suna Eva's daughter from Iceland, Sir Roger Gale from the United Kingdom, Stefan Schanak from Austria, and in their uh, joint you know, statement, they say the following. Uh, in, in his speech to mark Novo's holiday, President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, had proposed the isolation of the country's political opposition as a response to uh, I will start with Sir Roger Gale, who says, I am astonished and appalled by the Azerbaijani government's shameful exploitation of the coronavirus pandemic to launch yet another crackdown on the country's beleaguered political opposition. It begards belief that any head of state would abuse a public health emergency in order to tighten his grip on power. He further continues, the language used by the present Aliyev to describe his country's legitimate political opposition as traitors, fifth column is profoundly undemocratic, said Mr. Shanek. It is precisely in times of public emergency that political pluralism and responsibility uh, exercise freedom of expression are most important, so as to allow open debate on policy and the free flow of information amongst the public. In response to the reported arrest and detention of hooliganism of leading opposition political, uh, politician Tofik Yagublu, uh, Miss Elav daughter said that Ever, uh, everything I have heard so far suggests that the case against Yagublu has been fabricated and, and he has once again been made a political prisoner. It looks very much as though the Azerbaijani government is launching yet another round of conquered political oppressions. This would not bode well for the country's future standing in the Council of Europe. I would also read uh, the tweet made by uh, Commissioner for Human Rights, uh, Ms. Miatovic. She says in his uh, tweet on 26th of March, the arrest and detention of Tok Tofik Yagublu on dubious charges is yet another illustration of the government's uh, conditioned, uh, uh, continued persecution of critics. 
the authorities of Azerbaijan should drop the charges, ensure his immediate release and take steps to ensure his health isn't put at further risk. This is what international organizations is. I, I, I also have the uh, uh, US Human Rights Commission uh, statement, uh, US Congressman, I will tell, I will remind their names, Christopher Th uh, Smith and James McGowan. They say, Azerbaijani authorities arrested opposition leader Tofik Yagublu on hooliganism charges amid a crackdown on free speech during coronavirus pandemic. No government should use the coronavirus to quell democratic opposition. As we see, democratic world is responding uh, quite strongly to the bogus charges uh, forwarded against Tofik Yagoblu uh, by, the, uh, by the Azerbaijani authorities. They call this as dubious, bogus. They are astonished, appalled by shameful explo uh, exploitation of coronavirus pandemic. Probably Azerbaijani regime is the first which openly uses coronavirus pandemic to crack down opposition and the first victim is famous public person, politician Tofik Yagoblu. And what we see following this, we see a response of the government of Azerbaijan, which, which reminds us of the responses made by the, in the Soviet times or in the you know, recent history when they call uh, Western response as, uh, you know, they, they label that, they say that this is anti-Azerbaijani forces, they are the enemies, and we see the same language that was used by Ali Hassanov in the previous times. So those who say that Azerbaijani regime wants to make some changes, they want to reform the country, shows that it is untrue. It is openly lie, it, this is an open lie, and this is unacceptable. We should all stand together in order to continue our steps to, uh, to make sure that Tofik Yagoblu is released immediately. Allegations are falsified. All the world, Azerbaijani uh, society, have seen, obviously, how the, the, the regime falsificated and organize this provocation. This is pure provocation, and those who doubt that this is provocation are agents of the regime, without any doubt. This are, they are the uh, uh, agents of the regime, and they are enemies of my Azari people, Azerbaijani people. I call again to embassies, diplomatic corps credit to Azerbaijan. Please don't stop your activity, please don't stop defending Tofik Yagublu. His health is in danger, he is confined in the uh, detention center number three with the worst conditions, sanitary conditions are terrible, uh, Tofik Yagublu has asthma, uh, grave asthma, and if he falls ill now at this time, his life will be in very serious danger. He has been, his health has been weakened during the uh, torture made against him during the last uh, opposition demonstration. And any further delay or, or government refusal to release him will cause more damage to his health and will anger Azerbaijani society. Please, let's stand together and defend Tofik Yagoblu. This is very important, because if we don't stop the regime from doing this now, they will continue uh, these steps. We have seen what happened to Oktay Bey. Gulaliv, Oktay Gulaliv. He is still in hospital in Turkey. 
He has been hit by uh, by by a car. By uh, also organized. This is all. This was also organized by the Azerbaijani regime. He's handicapped. He cannot move. He cannot, you know, do anything. He cannot speak. And Azerbaijani society is happy that he moved his one finger or right finger, left finger. He opened one eye or another eye. But the regime made him uh, handicapped. And the, uh, and the condition of uh, Oktay Gulaliv is the result of the regime crackdown on opposition, persecution, and uh, other illegal acts. We have seen it before, we see it now. If we don't continue to press the Azerbaijani regime, they will continue to, do, to behave this way. And this behavior is unacceptable. If the Azerbaijani government will not release Tofik Yagublu and wouldn't stop this kind of uh, shameful, dubious actions using coronavirus pandemic as the pretext to, con to do this, uh, regime will not stop on that. They will continue, they will further crack down the democratic opposition in the country. Embassies of the, the Western countries in Azerbaijan. I don't also, I, I, I don't only uh, want to mean the Western countries. Why embassies of Turkey is silent? Why Russian Federation is silent? Why other countries are silent? Why Ukrainian embassy is silent? Why, uh, you know, other uh, Kazakhstan, you know, why we are always waiting response from the West, from the Council of Europe, from the European Union, from the democratic world. Show that you can also stand for def uh, in defense of democracy. And Azerbaijani, uh, and Azerbaijani society will appreciate that. Why Georgia, our closest neighbor, wouldn't uh, respond on that? Even on Afghan, uh, 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 Af Afghan Mukhtarov, we, we haven't seen uh, continuous support of, uh, of, uh, of him. He was recently released and he's in Germany now. Thank you for your attention. I will continue to make this short video calls, video uh, appeals to the international community, but it's very important that you do continue your work. Once again, thanks for all those who have reacted strongly, powerfully, and once again, thank you very much, and God bless Azerbaijan.